It's a disturbing trend happening in one of Detroit's trendiest neighborhoods. This sure is. Restaurants in Corktown and Southwest Detroit targeted by thieves. Check out this map of break-ins over the past few months. Three of those instances happening in the past 48 hours. And most notably, Katoy, a nominee for a James Beard Award, was burned down just a few months ago. Let's get to Rod Maloney. He's live in Corktown tonight. And Rod, this has to have business owners worried tonight. Well, they're, they're, they're more than worried. They're pushing back, Jason. I mean, they've decided they're not going to sit back and take it here at the corner of Michigan and Trumbull and the environs around here. They've decided on a unique way of working with Detroit police and changing the green light program and using it to their advantage. Overnight Sunday, a thief or thieves, Jimmy slows barbecue back door, climb up milk cartons to a crawl space and then take nothing strange. Then overnight Monday, the new Huron room hit, its front window boarded up, closed today, its owners and lake trout bewildered. And the nearby Johnny's Noodle King, owned by the same company, also broken into over the weekend. DPD's trying to figure out whether these break-ins are related. And last February, McShane's on Michigan Avenue. Their front window ended up smashed like the Huron rooms. The apparent thieves took nothing, but it was sure a 10-day long inconvenience for Bob Roberts, McShane's owner, who had to get custom glass made. They hit an area and, then, you know, we the, the, the police get them off the street and then literally the day that they that they get out or bond out, uh, they're, you know, they're, they're right back at it. An unhappy one at that, and one that won't deter Roberts or the close-knit Court Down Business Association. They meet monthly and just formed a security committee that Roberts is chairing to stop the break-ins by reinventing the successful green light program with Detroit police. They don't do green green light in open spaces. It's, it's usually uh, business specific, so we're looking at McShane's possibly being a host business where we would host the green light project and uh, but a majority of the cameras would be up and down Michigan and Trumbull. And so you might wonder, is DPD on board with this? Well, it turns out absolutely they are. They're happy to hear about this new innovation. They say they want to work with businesses and they want businesses to work with them to try and solve the local problem. So they're saying, hey, go for it. Let's see if we can make this happen. Back to you. All right, we well, can understand that. And of course, green light means it focuses on those cameras. When might they have those ready to go, Rod? Well, that's the thing right now. They, they meet on a monthly basis, the, uh, the Corktown Business Association. They have another meeting scheduled for the end of the month. They do have to come up with the money. McShane's is willing to put it up, but there are some things they have to work out, so it'll probably be another month or perhaps two before they can get there. Well, hopefully it can stop a lot of these, uh, these break-ins for sure. All right, Rod, thanks.